Hello, this is Jake Walls for another YouTube video. Today I'm going to review Spider-Man 3. And this movie is not that good. And it's it's a mixed bag for me, to be honest with you. There are moments that are memorable. But but it's pretty good until... Like, the only thing that made no sense was, the, was when... Um, when... Um, when Harry Osborn loses his memory, that's the only thing that made no sense in the beginning of the movie, and then the West was okay until we get to the black suit Spider-Man. And then, and then it made no sense after that, even though the suit looked cool. I would give it that. The costumes are awesome, and I like Sandman as a villain because he ain't really a villain. He just wants to protect his own his own daughter. To be honest with you, it's he's not really a villain, even though he's doing villainous things with uh, with Spider Man and stealing money to help his sick daughter. So he's just do, he's just trying to do right things, but doing wrong things at the same time. If that makes sense. And Spider-Man Three is the scores not do is not by Danny Elfman anymore. This time it's Christopher Young, and it's not at the same. It's not the same, but it's not bad either because they're you. They're kind of using the theme that Danny Elfman did, and um, but adding stuff to it. By add by adding by add by adding the um Sandman theme and the um. And the Venom theme in it, we're we're in all of that stuff into the song, and it's kind of it's kind of crazy because um it's and they show flashbacks from the previous movies like they did with the previous films, but this is just mild spoilers that I'm throwing out there, and because I'm pretty sure y'all seen the movie, and if y'all haven't, go watch it, even though it's not that great. It's not a bad film, but it's not the greatest either. It doesn't deserve the hate that it gets and all of it, but it's not bad. The only thing that kind of made me laugh but was horrible was the dance scene with Bully McGuire. That made no sense, <laughs> but I could probably recreate it. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Anyway, and, um... That, that made no sense, and then the dance scene at the bar with him playing the piano was kind of funny, but made no sense in the movie. That should have been a deleted scene or something, and cut that out of the movie, it would be better. And, um, yeah, overall, I would give this movie a 5 out of 10. Maybe not even that, maybe a 3 out of 10. And I would give this movie a D plus, and I would say stay away from this film unless you're a Spider Man fan, and Marvel fan, and Sony fan, and then then go watch it. But overall, it's a messy of a film. So I'm gonna go. Please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all of that. And then please follow me on Letterboxd so you can check out my movie reviews on there. And then please check out my Nerd with Autism website where I do stuff on there. I'm going to try and update it really soon and keep it updated. So this is Jake Walls of Nerd with Autism and please stay nerdy.